Hey, hello everyone and welcome in a new video. In this tutorial, I'll be talking to you about uh, the Docker file, a very, very important uh, file uh, with Docker. Uh, if you want to can subscribe to my channel to not miss the next video. Uh, we just discovered Docker file into uh, this video with a short example. Uh, what is Docker file? Docker file uh, allows you to allow you to to create a Docker image uh, with a simple file. And uh, this is a descriptive uh, file. And uh, a descriptive file is very, very useful uh, at now because uh, you can describe uh, each uh, instruction. You can set uh, a specific order about uh, these, uh, these instructions. Uh, you can version with Git, you can version this, uh, this file. And you can uh, add some variables uh, to reuse uh, your Docker file. And what is uh, the what is main instructions uh, in a Docker file? If you want to retain some uh, instruction, you of course you need to use from from is a specific instruction uh, to to tell to your Docker engine which image uh, do you want to use to create your image? What is the, the source uh, image? Uh, the run uh, instruction uh, allow you to to run uh, simple uh, simple uh, simple commands. For example, uh, we use uh, uh, run uh, uh, apt update apt install uh, dash uh, uh, y uh, engine, for example. Um, another instruction, uh, the env instruction to set uh, environment variable. Uh, for production or, or other, um, you can uh, you can use copy instruction. Very very useful uh, instruction to copy a file from the source directory on your laptop or uh, in, on the server where you build your image, and you want to copy this file or uh, an entire directory into uh, the image. Uh, to use it in your uh, in your container, the entry point uh, very very important with CMD um, to define the main process. This is where you can define the main process of your uh, future uh, uh, container. The CMD is um, is different uh, different uh, about uh, entry point. Uh, entry point is specific to the main process and CMD. In the CMD, you can define the main process and you can define uh, which options uh, you want to use uh, for this process. Expose, uh, it's uh, it's very optional. You can uh, you can use uh, expose uh, instruction to define uh, which port do you want uh, to expose by default uh, with your uh, your image and of course in the the the, the future uh, container and uh, volume. This is the same thing like uh, expose, but uh, for for the for the volume, uh, which volume do we want to mount uh, by default? Let's uh, me to show you how uh, a simple example. Uh, for example, we need to to create a Docker file, uh, a Docker file file, of course, and uh, by default we can name it Docker file with a, an upper uh, D uh, for Docker file name, and we can uh, clean our file. And now we need to start from an image. We, uh, we in, in uh, the most, uh, mo in the, in the huge case, you, you need to define uh, an, a source image. Uh, and sometimes you can use Scratch, but it's, it's more specific. Uh, in our case, we want to use Ubuntu image, and we want to define the which version do you, do you want, uh, which version we want to, uh, to use. And we set uh, Ubuntu to latest. And after it, we just want to uh, use run with apt update. 
like uh, we as uh, we 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 are uh, we are root for example we run uh, apt update and we can use an apt install command dash y very very important to use it because uh, if you don't set a dash y option option you can't uh, you can't build your image because you you have an error and uh, uh, your docker build need to 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 have a prompt and this is not very very uh, easy to use it and uh, we add we want to add an engine and after it if you if we do it we can just uh, use a non tree oh sorry we can use a non tree point oh by default we can use it like here if i uh, run a docker build command i can specify a dash t option to define uh, the name of uh, our new image for example uh, my engines and uh, the version version 1.0 and uh, the dot element uh, to specify we use uh, the docker file uh, our docker file by default so we run it and now our docker engine download uh, the ubuntu image and after it uh, docker run uh, apt update of course and after it apt install our engines web server so right and now we can check uh, our image with docker images we have our new image here if i run a docker run dash d with uh, a name for to create a new container like in previous video we set the version and we run it if we run it, we uh, we don't uh, we haven't uh, any container uh, run because our container is in exited uh, status. Why? Because if we check our Docker file, we don't set any entry point. By default, if you don't set any entry point. If you don't set uh, entry point, you 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 have no process on your container, and of course your container uh, is not running. So to to fix it, we need to set entry uh, entry point, and uh, we want to use an engine. And uh, we want uh, to use engines with uh, dash uh, G, uh, J option and the daemon of characteristic uh, because we want to run engines not in daemon uh, mode. And if we run again uh, our Docker Docker build again like it we can see each step the from step and the run with apt and install and after it we uh, docker set uh, the entrepreneur to engine and uh, j and daemon of so if you run again your conti uh, our container so i need to rem remove it uh, before I want to remove uh, my container uh, C1 and we can use again a docker run and now if you run again what we have we have our container okay and our container is up if I use docker inspect uh, of uh, our C1 container we can find uh, the IP of our container if we, if we use uh, a curl on this IP we have a default page uh, for our engines okay now we want to change uh, the default file uh, for served by uh, our engines okay we want to change it to a simple uh, line uh, who tell us uh, 
for example, hello Xavki. And to do it, we just need uh, to create on our uh, laptop uh, a new index.html. Uh, and I uh, set it to hello, hello uh, Xavki. Okay, so I save it. And now I just need to uh, change uh, and to add uh, some line in our Docker file. And the first thing we need to do, uh, we need to remove our uh, uh, file in uh, slash var uh, www slash html and we want to remove all file into this directory and after it we want to copy uh, remember copy uh, copy a file from our uh, source directory where we can find uh, our docker file file on our la laptop in this case and uh, we want to uh, use the file uh, index.html like a source and we want to copy it into slash var www.html okay so we need to rebuild again uh, our uh, image or if you want we can set a new version uh, maybe 1.1 version uh, oh, with the build here and we can run it again and now it's okay we can find uh, we'll see it later but uh, docker engine when we we run a build uh, docker use a cache uh, for example like here uh, in the second step we can see uh, docker don't run uh, uh, doesn't run run again uh, apt update on apt install and just use a cache for this layer each line here each step is a simple layer we'll see it uh, later um, and when we add a new line you can see we don't use we don't use uh, a cache and for all uh, next step we uh, don't use uh, any cache okay so uh, now we can uh, remove uh, our container here okay uh, rm uh, oh, okay and uh, we can run use our docker run uh, dash d and we want to, uh, to run a new container uh, named c2 for example and if i use docker ps we have two containers we just need to find which ip for uh, our new container uh, named c2 and with this container we have uh, this ip 172.172.0.3 and if i use a curl with this ip what we have we have our new index.html uh, file with our content hello xavki so uh, I think, yes, that's all for today. Thank you for following this video and I see you in the next one. You can subscribe to my channel if you want and uh, see you in the next video. Bye.